This is question 25. College Board is asking about changes in the mean, median, sum of the numbers and standard deviation if you change the numbers in a data set. We have 27 different numbers with a mean of 33 and a median of 33. I'm going to change the wording of that a little and look at only 7 instead of 27. So if the median is 33, out of 7 numbers, there's 3 numbers less than that, 32, 31, and 30, and three numbers greater, 34, 35, and 36. They never said they were consecutive integers, but they didn't say they're not consecutive integers. So I'm going to make it consecutive because that's prettier and easier. 33 is clearly the mean and the median for these numbers. And College Board says add 7 to each number that's greater than the median. So that would be 41, 42, and 43 keep the 33, subtract 7 from each number that's less. That would be 25, 24, and 23. And if you look at this, the median is still the same. They're asking which does not have the same value. The mean, if you add them up, since 23 plus 43 is 66, 30 plus 33 is also 66. That sum hasn't changed because I subtracted 7 here but added 7 here. Similarly, 24 plus 32 is 36. 31 plus 35 is 36. Those haven't changed. 32 plus 34 and 25 plus 41 add to 36. The sum of the numbers is still the same, which means the mean is still the same. So which does not have to be the same would be none of those three. All three have to remain the same. Standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the numbers are. When we subtracted 7 from each of the lower numbers, we made them fur further from the mean. When we added 7 to the higher numbers, we made them farther from the mean. So all numbers but the middle number have become farther from the mean. We've made the standard deviation larger, so choice D would be the correct answer. College Board usually asks a question like this about which value changes statistically. It is important to remember that standard deviation is a measure of how spread out the numbers are and when you make the numbers further from the mean or if you have a data set with values further from the mean, the standard deviation is larger. And the standard deviation includes all the values and how spread out they are overall, not just the range which is largest to smallest. So you can have the same range and still have a larger standard deviation if more values are near the extreme. But in this case, we have a larger range, and all values except for the median are further from the mean. If I had done this with a full data set of 27 numbers, I would have gotten the same result, but it's easier to see with this smaller data set, so that's how I'm illustrating the answer. And just remember when you spread your numbers out more, the standard deviation increases, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.